Uh, one, one thing I remember reading in the 18th century, uh, the, young, the young Calvinistic Methodist movement there. You're under, older than you look, John. You yeah, know that, I, know. Don't you? I, I was there. So <laughs> uh, I remember that uh, Whitfield and Wesley and others on, on both sides, I mean, they republished Puritan works. In fact, Wesley mm-hmm. put together a thing called the Christian Library, which he highly edited, partly because he felt that books needed to be manageable, uh, manageable size for the modern man and, and, and purchasable. So he had a library of over 40 copy, uh, 40 volumes in which over half were Puritan writers, which is surprising considering Wesley's theology. But he felt that they mm-hmm. were good uh, shepherds for the soul. Mm-hmm. Uh, everywhere he went, he promoted these <clears throat> and, uh, you know, buy, buy these books. It'll be good for you. And he also tried to get his friends to promote them. And I remember in one place, a man named John Barrage, who was on the Calvinistic side of the movement. Uh, Barrage would not promote Wesley's library among his people. And it was not a theological Calvin Arminian issue. It was the issue that his people were very simple, not very well educated. And he did not want them to devote any of that rare time they had in the day yeah. to reading. He did not want them to devote it to, to any of the old writers rather than to scripture. Um, How Harris also, similar thing. Welshman who had only just learned to read in that century, um, he, he said he found that those who immediately after conversion filled their uh, mind with old writers or, or with books tended to not be as simple um, mm-hmm. um, and, and as um, devoted to Christ himself, but tend to become proud. Um, yeah. let, me, let me ask you, if a person finds themselves uh, in, in that quandary that Paul mentions that, uh, you know, knowledge puffs up. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously the answer to that is not ignorance. So sure. how do you encourage a person as their pastor? How do they increase in knowledge and not increase in pride? That's a great question. I think I think if they are increasing in knowledge in the true sense, that should humble them. So if they're doing it well, it, it should be an antidote to that. Uh, again, yeah, Paul's talking about head knowledge, isn't he? Just the, you know, this... this um, it's probably not the best phrase, but you know, a merely rational appreciation of certain doctrines that never really penetrates to the affections. I think one of the uh, antidotes to that is actually just to be selective. Uh, we really need to make sure that people know what to read. Pastorally, that's not just a question of of then that I answer with, well, read something old. It's read this particular book. And so I might be trying to feed a particular sheep with something that'll do them some particular good so that I'm I'm trying to actually minister to someone in a particular circumstance with something that is going to help them spiritually so that rather than just being an intellectual exercise in accumulating data, it becomes a, a spiritual exercise of receiving something that is good. And very often it will be directed perhaps to a particular uh, a particular weakness, perhaps, in, in understanding, or uh, it may be uh, an area where they're, they're starting to grow and you want to just help them in a certain way. Uh, it may be somebody comes to you and says, look, I, I just, I've lost my appetite for Christ. You think, okay, I think I've got, yeah, it's almost like having a little medicine cabinet. And you say, okay, I I think I have something for that. I think I have something for that with, as you've said, never the intention to introduce a replacement or in that sense, even a supplement to scripture. Um, Although perhaps the latter more so, that this is actually going to help you draw in some distinct scriptural teaching. So that we're we're really trying to make sure that we're not just sort of tickling an itch to know stuff uh, or to get a reputation for, for knowledge, but this is designed, intended, uh, prayed over with a view of feeding your soul. And when that happens, actually, you'll have a less high opinion of yourself than you started with, but a far higher opinion of God in Christ. <laughs>